the moment you step back and you go, I could do B, C, D, or E instead of B and react. You have power, you have strategy in your life. So one of the questions people wanted me to answer was how to be a better strategist in life, which is the theme of the month of September in my book, Daily Laws. And basically what I would say is it's just a matter of how you look at the world. So I, in writing my books, I am a bit of a strategist myself. I never do anything without some kind of strategic thinking behind it, right? So my idea in my books is to not just give you, the reader, ideas about life. I want to change how you look at the world. I want to change how you look at power. I want to change how you look at seduction itself. Well, strategy is one of those ways that you alter how you look at the world. It's like a paradigm shift. Because you're going around in life being extremely unstrategic. And all that matters, all that is required is you alter it, you reverse that form of thinking. Uh, you reverse your perspective on that. So normally in your day-to-day -day affairs, when things are happening to you, you're reacting continually, emotionally. Somebody said this, it made you angry. Somebody said that, it made you excited. You saw something on social media. React, 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 react. You think you're in control because sometimes you do something kind of strong or powerful. But it all stems from reaction. You're in reaction mode throughout the course of your life. And in my book, The 33 Strategies of War, I call that tactical hell. You are currently in tactical hell. You are continually reacting against what people say, what people do. You're never controlling the situation. The way to get out of tactical hell is to enter strategic heaven. I've never called it that before. I'm just making that up right now but it's to alter how you look at things. So instead of reacting, you go, somebody said that. Now, are they trying to deliberately upset me? Okay, it worked, all right? The best response is to not get upset, right? So instead of reacting, you think of, what's the best way to, to, to respond to this? Rationally, you know, in my next move, instead of just getting emotional, so what it is, it's a level of detachment in your day-to-day -day life. And you can practice this in small ways. And if you're in a relationship of any kind, and you know that in a relationship, there are these things that will annoy you about the other person. Little things that they say that get under your skin. You can't help it. It's, it's kind of constant, right? This is a great way to practice because it happens like every day. And you go, step back and you go, I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to get emotion. I'm going to think in a different way. I'm going to detach myself here. And I'm going to go, why am I getting upset here? Why am I getting emotional? Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe I can think of other things. Maybe they have a good reason for saying what they do, etc. The moment you step back and you go, I could do B, C, D, or E instead of B and react. You have power. You have strategy in your all that's required is you consider other ways to respond to somebody's behavior. Sometimes people are in their own react mode and they are just simply being emotional to you. But I can assure you that in your life, however long it is, you are encountering other people who are very strategic. They are deliberately making you upset. They are deliberately getting under your skin by something they say. They are being passive, aggressive, however you want to call it. And they thrive on the fact that they can make you emotional. They can make you upset. This could be your boss, for instance, who knows that they can, they have a lot, that they can make you very afraid by simple things that they say, etc., etc. They relish this power they have over you. As a strategist in life, you don't give them that power. You step back and you go, is this person deliberately trying to push my buttons? What is their thinking? How are they operating in this world? Are they trying to push me in a certain direction? No, I'm not going to fall for their bait. I'm going to either not react at all, not get emotional, which will upset them, or I will think of something else I can do a few days later to kind of show that I'm onto them, etc., etc. Options. You want options in life. That is power. In a business, in any kind of setting, 
You don't want to be in a corner where you could have, where you only can do one thing. I call that avoiding corners in, in my blog posts, etc. You want to have options. You can go here, you can go there, you can go here, you can go there. Strategic thinking will open that to you. And the golden gate that will open you to becoming a strategic warrior is to get out of reacting and to always take a step back and go, what is the rational response here, right? Sometimes there are in life what we would call pyrrhic victories. So let's say you get in an argument with a person. Someone kind of drags you into an argument and you overpower them with some brilliant idea and you, you win the day, you, you, you've humiliated them, you show them the truth, you know what's true. And then they, they kind of scour and they, they, they kind of, yeah, yeah, you're right, okay. It's a pyrrhic victory because what you've created in the end is someone who resents you, who hates you, and they're going to get back at you later on in life. That's a pyrrhic victory. So not everything you do is about winning, and even winning can come back and hurt you. Think about the consequences of your actions. Think about how you can open up options instead of just reacting. And that moment where you think instead of react, you're becoming a strategist in life and you will have power, I guarantee you.